How close is your relationship with God? Exodus 33:11 shows the intimate relationship between God and Moses. Do you want to know more about it? Then stay tuned. Hello, welcome to 21st Century Moses channel. My name is Sammy Ju. Let's go to the first section, exposition. Let's read Exodus 33:11. Thus the Lord used to speak to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friend. When Moses turned against, again into the camp, his assistant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, would not depart from the tent. Now, the face to face, it means intimacy with God. Well, it is not literal description of what, what's happening between God and Moses because if Moses meets God face to face literally then Moses will die because God is holy and Moses including us all human beings are sinful so if when we face God face to face we'll die immediately but Moses saw the back of God and that's the best thing uh, he could do so what does it mean here face to face this is a more symbolic meaning that God and Moses had a very, very intimate relationship. That God spoke to Moses just like uh, men, uh, friends are speaking to each other. So this this verse really shows how intimate relationship Moses had God uh, had with God. God was so close to Moses. Not just one time, but constantly, God and Moses were in an intimate relationship. This is the relationship all spiritual leaders should have. Ministry is important, and being busy for taking care of people as a good shepherd is not a bad thing. It should be done that way. However, if our ministry becomes a priority and replaces our time with the Lord, then we are missing the most important thing. Luke 10, 41-42 shows a great example. Martha was busy taking care of Jesus, but Mary, his sister, was sitting in front of Jesus just listening to him. What was the better choice? Mary's choice. Mary chose intimacy with Jesus more than being busy for Jesus. You might have a great intention to do things for Jesus, but you will need to be with Jesus first. With Jesus must come first before for Jesus. Let's think about how we spend our time or day. Do you check your emails and phone calls first before you pray and read God's Word? Some people are so nervous about the day's requirements and homeworks to finish. Before we check boxes on our list, we need to go to God in prayer and reading His Word, meditating His Word. Intimacy with God is the first and foremost foundation of who we are and what we do for His kingdom. By the way, how intimate is your relationship with God? Share your thoughts or examples in the comment section below. Remember the keywords here, speak, friend. So the main idea is God spoke to Moses as a friend. Now memory device for this one, Exodus 33, 17. Now number three are being together here. Number one is being together. If you are really intimate with someone, you will become like the person. So this, ver this the uh, 3311 really shows the intimacy, right? Okay, read this verse three times out loud. Pause the video. Close your eyes and recite this verse word by word. Pause the video, please. Fill in the blanks and check it. The, thus the Lord used to, to Moses face to face, as a man speak to his. When Moses turned again into the camp, his assist assistant, Joshua the son of Nun, a young man, would not depart from the tent. The answers are, Speak, friend, in today's verses, Exodus 33, 11. All right, great job. You memorized 78 verses. Make sure to uh, put your unique emoji or unique icon and 365 empowerment checklist on the description section below so you can check your progress. And if you think this video is helpful, please share this video with your friends and coworkers and family members. And if you have not, please click the like button, hit subscribe, and click, uh, click on the notification bell so that YouTube will show this video to more people in the world. And also watch day 57 video of 70 days journey to the Bible so you can get the bigger picture of the Bible. And make sure to uh, pray at least one hour after you read 17 chapters assigned for today. All right, that's it for today and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.